the UK will consider further improvements to our visa offer if at the same time we can step up the speed and volume of returns of Indians with no right to remain in the UK. And the UK will continue to welcome the brightest and best of Indian students. With the latest beside this, the UK has agreed to invest £120 million in a joint fund that will lever private sector investment from the City of London to finance Indian infrastructure. So the potential to expand the commercial opportunities for both our countries is huge. And on this visit alone, more than £1 billion of business deals will be signed. But there's much more we can do. Take your version of smart cities. Today we have agreed a new partnership that will bring together government, investors and experts to work together on urban development, unlocking opportunities worth £2 billion for British businesses over the next five years. This will focus on the dynamic state of Madhya Pradesh. Finally, we both face a shared threat of terrorism as individual countries, as partners and as global powers whose interests lie in a stable world founded on the rules-based international system. Today, we have agreed to strengthen our cooperation, in particular by sharing best practice to tackle the use of the internet by violent extremists and to reduce radicalization and recruitment attempts online. These have been good and productive talks. We believe that such a group should not only focus on ways to increase trade in goods, but also on the expansion of services, trade including through greater mobility of skilled professionals.